the idea for the weather box came from gathering cues about the weather when you're looking out a window. So for me, when I look out the window, I can see uh, the grass moving or the trees swaying in the breeze. You can also get cues about the, kind of the color outside or maybe how dry the vegetation is. So that's what I wanted to replicate in the weather box. So I'm using um, three weather data inputs, air temperature, relative humidity, and wind speed. And those are pulling from different locations throughout the United States. And so what it does is it pulls um, the wind speed, let's say, for Pittsburgh. And it maps that to a fan that blows through a channel and it comes across these uh, stylized grass blades or whatever. And the LED strip maps to the temperature. Green being room temperature, blue being below room temperature, red being above room temperature. And, um, and then also it maps the humidity by moving a table up and down, which restricts or um, allows the wire to move more if it's more humid and less if it's more dry. So we can go to a different location, this is Pittsburgh. Um, this is going to go to Salt Lake City once the, it pulls the new weather data, current weather data. It will update the LED strip to a little bit warmer of a color. And we can go to uh, Anchorage, Alaska, I believe is my next one. So that will take a couple seconds to update, but we'll have a presumably colder weather in, in Anchorage. And then after that we can go to their updates to a cooler blue. Um, and then, uh, the last one I have pre-programmed in that we can look for is uh, white. So let's uh, see what it's like. The wind hasn't been blowing very hard in uh, Anchorage all morning. It's been really calm there. Cold but calm. And there's Hawaii. So it's getting nice because uh, it must be early morning. It must have just been morning in, uh, in Hawaii because it's started to get warmer than room temperature there. So.